Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more Power World. Today, we are going on a hunt for some pals, and not just any pals. We're going on a hunt for some boss pals because we got a few boss pals over here, um, specifically level twenty threes that I want to go ahead. I want to take out and uh, get the goodies from, if you will. So hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. If you enjoy the video, subscribe, leave a like, maybe if you want to. If not, that's okay, it's not your thing. So we are gonna be going after, I think we're gonna go after King Paka today because I mean, come on, King Paka, like that sounds like a good time. Uh, that sounds hilarious. And then maybe a Bushy as well. Uh, we have Univolt over here, but the little Univolt's level 31, little higher than, a uh, little higher level than I want to do. And then we also have a 23, a Bronze Sherry over here, which, maybe we might do but that's not like exactly what i really want to start with so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna start with king packer today and uh i think we got a good team going here let me go ahead and let's go ahead and try our pals also we did move bases we have a new spot we have a new location as you can see everything's stone it's nice it's fantastic it's wonderful all right so the group that i think we're gonna take here is uh, i think we're gonna stick with actually let's go ahead and sort by level here okay so we do have a level 20 bristala uh we're gonna take i think we're gonna take fox sparks i think we're gonna take Jolt Hog, Dinosaur, Relaxaurus, and Van Worm. So we've got Fire, we've got Electric, we've got um, Grass and Dragon, we've got Water Dragon, and then we've got, well, we have a Fire and Dark type. So the only thing we don't have is a Ground, um, but honestly, Fox Sparks has uh, has been doing work lately. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna see how this goes and uh, have a good time. But yeah, hopefully you're all have a wonderful day. I'm having an absolute blast. Happy um, Happy Pal World release. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this game. They're super excited. So leave a comment. Let me know. Are you playing? And uh, how are you enjoying it so far? So we're gonna go ahead. Let's see. King Pack is over here. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll travel over here. Get as close as we can. And let's see if uh... Oh, we're in the we're in the little village. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get our flyer out here. So this guy is my current flyer, which um, get over here, if you would. <laughs> uh, let's see, where do we need to go from here? All right, basically straight up here. Oh my gosh. King Paka is a thick boy. <laughs> thick boy, jeez. Oh my gosh, let's go. That is so funny. Okay, so first thing I want to see is um, aggro. Supreme Fluff Commander. Uh, I would say so. Holy moly. Okay, can we can we get close without him getting mad? Oh my gosh. Talk about a talk about a chonky boy. Holy moly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this out guy. Um, oh, he's a normal type. So he's a normal type. So you know who actually might do the best damage is actually Van Worm because Van Worm is a dark type. So let's go ahead and um, let's throw Van Worm out and let's go ahead and let's get going on this guy, shall we? I think we should be able to handle this. Well, I, I say that. And then Van Worm takes a hit like that. Uh, it's because he's not using dark. Oh my gosh, of course a belly slam, let's go. Van Worm, you got this, you've got this, you've got this. Now we're not gonna let Van Worm pass out by any means because he's our flyer. We're gonna need him to get back. All right, Ooh, dodge it. We're doing okay here. Van Worm's in the trees, so uh, he's not getting hit, but at the same time, we're not getting any hits. Okay, we're gonna call him back. We're gonna bring out uh, Relaxaurus because Relaxaurus is kind of nasty. Oh, oh my gosh, the belly slam. Get him, get him, get him. You know what? We should probably deal with these other Melpacas over here. Okay, and that Melpaca's gone. Relaxaurus is coming back. We're gonna send out Dinosom. Dinosom, make some magic, let's go. Now, our goal is absolutely to catch this fluff boy. And do I don't even have any other spheres on me, do I? Oh, that's not gonna, okay. So I did not come prepared. Maybe I should head back and get some, you know what, we're gonna head back. I gotta grab some spheres. We gotta grab some real spheres here because if I don't, we are not gonna be able to get this guy. Uh, my blue spheres will absolutely not catch him. Okay, let's go ahead and toggle up some, uh, some spheres here. Man, I can't, oh, I don't have any megas. Oh, it's cause I have no ingots. All right, we got some ingots. We gotta get some megas in here, I think. I think we're gonna need, we might even need gigaspheres. Yeah, let's go ahead and get gigaspheres. All right, now that I have some spheres, let's get <laughs> let's get back to this. Now, I could have swapped out and I could have actually got a, um, I could have seen if I, I could have saw if I had a better uh, like a higher level dark type, but I think we'll I think we've fine. Um, I don't think we were having really any uh, any terrible issues here, so 
we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop off we're gonna start with oh let's see who do we start off with let's start off with dinosaur and uh because dinosaur can deal with the other two fairly easy hopefully oh gosh Ciao, dinosaur yeah see dinosaur can deal with the other ones <laughs> very easily oh and i have no arrows left man i have come so unprepared for this all right dinosaur get some hits in there now we're gonna have to pull dinosaur out before uh before he gets too crazy because we're not trying to kill the king packa here all right we're gonna call him back we're gonna call him back let's go ahead and go with um let's get you out here van worm because you weren't doing a ton of damage all right, we're gonna see what we're at here as far as percentages on this guy now. 21% is not bad. Let's go ahead and lob that and see if we can get him. Okay, not close. Let's try again. We might we might be close up. I'm a little bit worried about doing any extra damage. I really wish I had some arrows. Ooh, 70. And 90, 900%, we got him. We got him. Acquired one ancient technology point. Look at that. We got ourselves a boss boy, a king pack it now let's what's crazy is those things stay huge uh let's go ahead let's take him back and let's let's look at well we don't have him in our inventory he's, he's with our pal box but let's go ahead and uh let's see what we've got i want to see i want to check out this big boy all right where is he where is the king fluff himself king packa all right let's go ahead and swap out we'll swap you out oh my god of course he's going over for food yo this thing is huge this is the thick boy. <laughs> it's so funny. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go look at some stats on this guy. And then uh, <laughs> it's a normal type. So, I mean, it's not like the most useful thing in the world. Uh, but let's see what we've got. So we got some pretty decent health. Attack, defense, work speed. Gathering is level one. That's all it is. And then what is his uh, king of muscles can be ridden while in team king, king Paka helps carry supplies. Increases the player capacity increasing the player's max carry capacity Ooh, while in team that is actually really good the reason that's really good is because typically um when, when i'm playing i usually have a uh, so we have like our fighting team here um it's honestly it's, it's just a small team but what's nice is that usually when i go out and uh, go resource gathering i usually take a different team with me so if that is the case what do we need uh what level is a king packa well he's level 23 so if we wanted a king packa thing where is that at right there king packa saddle and that's actually not even expensive wool ingot leather not bad so uh yeah we'll probably go ahead and we'll probably go ahead and get that made as well for harvesting oh that's gonna be that is going to be nice also another small tip if you can get a wixen or relatively early on these things this one has a three times handy speed which basically makes it uh insane at crafting and b doing everything i mean look at the speed on that that is that is insanely fast all right next boss up on the map do we go after brawn cherry so i have a regular brawn cherry right here um if we go actually let's look at the stats on brawn cherry and see what see what we could use against them they are a grass type so if we used fire fox sparks would probably be really good you know what should we go after that one or should we go after because we also we have a cat we, uh, we have catchers we also have bushy i don't know what bushy is at all so you know what let's go after bushy that sounds a little bit more fun so i've got arrows i've got i've got berries i've got arrows you know honestly the wixen would probably be a better fire type to take over there in case we need a fire type but that is okay Oh, so this one is actually in a uh, in its own realm. Oh, we got a uh, we got an effigy over there. We'll have to grab that. So this guy's actually in its own realm, which is interesting. Sealed realm of the Swordmaster. So let's go ahead. We'll hop in here and we'll see what uh, we'll see what Bushy is all about. Enter the dungeon. Bushy is a fire type. Oh, that actually works out fantastically because we have. Uh, I guess Rexosaurus is a water type. Oh, you know what? I had another. I thought I had another water type here, but I don't. All right, here we go. We've got Bushy. Let's go ahead and pop this in here and let's uh, let the fight begin. Oh, he's cool looking. Hey, you're supposed to go after him, bud. Oh. Oh, that was the water attack. Oh my God. Oh, he's got like a teleport attack. Ooh, spicy. I like it. 
Oh, he's coming over here. Maybe not. Oh yeah, we've got this. Ooh, Rexasaurus. A Relaxasaurus. It's not Rexasaurus. It's, it's Relaxasaurus. Relaxasaurus, get back in here. All right, we're gonna let Dino Blossom do some stuff. So what's nice about this game is when you call your pals back, they will actually heal while they're returned into your um in into your like into your storage or inventory. Jolt Hog, get him! Get him, Jolt Hog! I love Jolt Hog. Jolt Hog is one of my favorites. Yeah, I absolutely was expecting this guy to be a grass type. I don't know why. Bushy. All right, you're coming back. We're setting out Fox Sparks. Now, fire versus fire, not very great. I know, I'm aware. But the uh, Relaxasaurus should be back here soon. You know, actually, this typing might actually work out for us because Fox Sparks isn't going to take as much damage either. Well, I say that. All right, Fox Sparks is coming back. We're sending out Relaxasaurus again. And then we're going to use Fox Sparks for the, uh, the, the chip damage if we need it. All right, let's see. I need to make sure that you do not kill this guy. All right, yep, we're going to go ahead and call you back. All right, let's see. We got one ball in. Second ball. No! Oh, we got hit as we... Oh, no. I didn't realize my damage was so low. Or my, my health was so low. Oh, we almost had him. We almost had him. Oh, gosh. I lost everything. Okay, so we got to go back in there and grab everything. Oh, it looks like all my stuff was laying out here. Very nice. Okay, so that one did not go as planned. So what I'm thinking is that I think we need another water type in here to kind of to kind of bring him down a notch. So a good one would be Pen King. Pen King is level 20. It is a uh, water ice. I think Pen King could probably get it done for us. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and replace. I love Jolt Hog, but <sighs> Jolt Hog, I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't think you're. I don't think you're doing it for us today. Okay, and I have six gigaspheres. I think that'll be enough. It is a little bit less than I wanted. How did you even get outside? Lavender, how did you get outside? I have the gate closed for a reason. All right, round two, entering the dungeon. I think uh, I think our ping, uh, pen king, is going to do some serious work here. So I just got to make sure that I keep myself alive. Okay, could you hit him with some water attacks or something? That'd be great. There you go. Get him, Pen King. I mean, Pen King's doing a little bit of work here. Not as much as I thought, though. He's doing a lot of his, uh, like, shield, like, bashing. All right, you know what? We're going to go ahead and swap out with... Yep, go ahead and pop you out. We'll go ahead and swap between the two uh, water types. So the Relaxasaurus, I believe, is actually the little logo on the uh, on the Pal World game. And it's hilarious because it's... Uh, its little descriptive factor is that it looks docile and nice, but it's not. It thinks everything in its sight is prey. So it literally will eat anything. Why are you stuck over there? Okay, you're stuck over there, obviously. Here, can you maybe fight this guy? There you go. You know what's weird about this guy is that he has like a little fire thing on his head and he's a fire type, but he's shooting ice at me as well, which is a really interesting combination. All right, you're coming out. Pinkin's going back out. All right, we're using uh, Fox Sparks here to do the chip damage. Because I need a little bit more damage, but I don't need it to die. All right, that's enough. We'll see if we can get this guy. Come on. First ball? Yo, let's go. All right. <laughs> I mean, it took twice. Uh, it becomes a blade upon death. To be taken up to the next generation, if someone older than Bushy wields the blade, the soul within the torments them until they die. Oh my gosh. Uh, runner, Bushy, heck yes. There we go. We got ourselves a uh, another a new a boss. Let's go ahead and head back. Let's check this bad boy out, shall we? Okay, let's see. Where is Bushy? Let's go ahead and swap you out with the King Pack and see what we got here. Hey, there he is. Oh, man, he's just taking off rotted. What's he doing? I didn't even see what he's good at. Oh, he's probably really good at chopping trees. Hold on, let's go take a look at the stats here. See what we've got going on for this guy. So we have got, yep, Lumbering 3, I figured. Lumbering 3, Kindling 2, Gathering 1, Handiwork 1, and Transport 2. Uh, when activated attacks, targeted enemy with a powerful Ligiri. Very interesting. So yeah, interesting combination. Uh, Ligiri is a fire attack. We've got Icicle Cutter, which is Ice-type. 
and then wind cutter which is a, a plant type it's extremely weird because like you know like this is a weakness of this and like, it's just so weird runner 20 percent increased movement speed that's kind of neat that is very cool all right so let's see take a look at the map here we've got one more boss that we could take out should we take you now you know what i think we're good i think we got bushy and we got king packet today i think we're good i think we're good and that feels pretty good um, what I need to do more than anything is we need to do some upgrades. So we've got a few upgrades to do. Um, we need to basically, I need to go through. We need to make a whole bunch of more um, PAL spheres. I have like 130 of these. So we're good there. I'm skipping these all together and just going for gigaspheres because I think that's just the way to go. And then I also have some new, um, new armor types as well that I'd like to make as well. We also have, this is our, our new weapon workbench. Um, but we have a new armor, which is a metal armor so that would be super handy again we need ingots and leather uh leather is the bane of my existence right now it's absolutely terrible so and then i also need the oh the mega glider well let's actually go ahead and make that because i, I need that too that's an upgrade so uh, yeah we got all kinds of fun things we've got all kinds of new technologies let's see we are just now 24 25 oh okay so we've got heat resistant metal armor We've got a makeshift handgun. We got a fluffy pal bed, flower bed, a silo placed in a base to improve the planting efficiency of pals. Very cool. Uh, Mossandra's grenade launcher makes Mossandra fire a grenade launcher when ridden. That's sick. We got so many things to do here. Oh, such a good time. We also have uh, two technology points. So prerequisite unobtained. Do I really want a hip lantern? Do I really want an average feedback? Probably single shot sphere launcher what can capture distant pals requires a weapon line factory to craft oh that is interesting all right but that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed this is uh just a couple just a quick little boss fight video you know i want to see want to uh, want to get that done check that out and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. if you did like subscribe all the fun things we'll probably be streaming this some more so um you can either just follow here on youtube or over on twitch.tv slash even gaming if you want to check that out but yeah let me know leave a comment do you want to see more do you want to see some more base building do you want to see some more exploration do you want to see just more boss fights leave a comment let me know let me know what you want to see i'm here for you but yeah thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one bye everybody